This is going to make you feel old. Can you believe it's 26 years ago since Stars in Their Eyes came into our Saturday night televisions and absolutely <laughs> took over households across the land. <laughs> <laughs> Chuckling away, host of the show and Olivier Award winning actor Matthew Kelly joins us now. Good morning to you. Morning, 26 years. Wow. I've been worn well. You Unbelievable. Come on. You were chuckling at the picture we were showing of you, I'm weren't only, you? Yeah. I'm only 31 now. <laughs> <laughs> now, listen, you're here because you're in a new production of Pride and Prejudice, aren't yes. you? But this one's a little bit different. It is. Out in the open air for a start. Well, we're at the, um, the Regent's Park Open Air uh, Theatre from about two weeks' time, and then it plays there for about three weeks, and then it goes on a massive national tour. And... Um, it's just a fantastic story, and I'm ashamed to say that I had never read the book. Good I, I know the that's most awful. Loved isn't it? novels of all. This production was done at the uh, at the Regent's Park 20 in 2013. That co coincided with the 200th anniversary of the publication of the book. Yeah. And as it goes into 2017, this tour, it will be the 200th anniversary of Jane Austen's death. And you're playing. And I'm playing Mr. Bennett. Dad, <coughs> Mr. Yes. Be Mr. and Mrs. Bennett have five daughters who who all need to be married off. And it's a very very witty book. It it's a very funny book. Is it one of your favourites, Rambi? I, I, I loved, loved it. it. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and uh, this is a very very fast moving. Uh, production. It's got some great people in it. The woman playing my wife is Felicity Montague. Now you'll know her from Alan Partridge. Long-suffering wife the, of. The long-suffering PA. PA Lynn. of, that's right, yeah. yeah. She's got funny bones, she does Has make she? And uh, Mr and Mrs Bennett uh, have five daughters and uh, all the girls... Trying oh, to get them all married off. Oh, my girls it's, are it's a far cry though, isn't it, from, as I say, what most people will remember you from in, in their homes is stars in their eyes. Not anymore, Ambia. Because you know what? It's 13 years since I did that, uh, that show. The last picture of you yeah. there. Is there a picture of there me? There you go. I you're love pictures it. of me. That's my favourite. Look at that. <laughs> Have you still got that waistcoat? I've still got that figure. Look. But this <laughs> yeah. is how I get the work. I grow my own facial hair, you see. <laughs> and it's all optional. But there wasn't there a big call, it was a year ago, for you to come back and host it? Yes, apparently so. I was told this. But you see, I don't do Twitter or Facebook. So I don't know much about Would it. Would you do it? No, no. Is it, and is it because you've seen this? Let's just have a look. I mean, this may put you off for life. Oh, that was a, that was a clever link. We drop into a quiet little place and have a drink or two. I thought I'd never get to do it. Then I go and spot oh, no. the horse oh, and you're so oh, stupid like I love you. Oh, I've had some good work. Oh, I've got Matthew. Oh, was, oh my goodness. So was it that <laughs> that you thought, you know what, I just can't go back there? <laughs> Desperate times. I thought I'd be you off all that. Desperate actually, times. <laughs> Richard is the only one there, because actually Kate's not here. And, of course, I wasn't doing the show then. That was Cat Dealey. Yeah. Now, yeah. we were talking this morning about Blankety Blank coming back. Yes, were I you? Mean, yeah, but uh, people would love to see you host a show on TV again. Yes, but Are I'm, you avoiding it? The thing is, I'm very busy doing Pride and Prejudice, which is opening at the Regent's Park Theatre. Very nicely done there. Very nicely done there. there. <laughs> nicely <laughs> done there. Uh, would I do Blankety Blank? No, there's too much laughing and clapping for me. I'm too old for all that. I'm not Anton Deck. I'm a massive fan of Anton Deck. I think they are the best presenters, other than Richard, obviously. <laughs> I d actually, I said to Richard in the ring room, I think he could do it. Maybe that's know. it, yeah. Richard goes but into it. Gone are the days, you see, because actually, when you think Stars in the Rise was 13 years ago, I've been doing theatre ever since then. Yes. And um, in, in that time, there's a whole generation that's grown up. There are people now 15, 18, 20, have no idea who I am. <laughs> it's really great, actually. Because, to be honest with you, the difference between being famous and being anonymous, I would actually rather be anonymous. But you would never know that until you've been famous. But also, so, you can't go back, though, can you? My, well, my, I, I think everybody should be famous, because then they'd know what it was like, and it would actually be reduced to the importance that it actually yeah, has. Yeah, that's really interesting. Yeah, it's not, yeah, a, it's not it? the pleasant ride everyone expects it's going to be. It's not bad, though, is it? No, it's not <laughs> bad, I imagine. But you get yeah. loads of wonga. And, oh, uh, and, yeah. yeah it's, it's but you're like, happier being anonymous, are you, these days? Well, not know, honest, but sort of slightly where less. Where it works concerned, people say, do you prefer stage or do you prefer television? I don't care so long as I'm the centre of attention. <laughs> well, there that, you go. That'll you do will. for me. Well, thank yeah. you very much for coming in to talk Come to and see us at the park. We hope oh, it doesn't rain. <laughs> we might yeah. want to listen out to the weather forecast, because it's an open-air one, so you it might need to take It is an open-air one, brolly, and if it you? rains, we have to stay on. <laughs> Rebecca Root plays Judy, who is a transgender woman um, in 
probably about 40 and she, and she falls in love and vice versa with my son who is um, considerably 13 14 years younger same difference between me and Lincoln mm. and um, and what I think what the success of the first series was was that